Hello and welcome to Mailbag Free. I've got quite a pile of parcels today and I'm pretty sure there's something in here I need for the next bit of work I'm doing on my CPU project so let's get it opened up. This is another one of the metal bars I ordered. Now, this actually says ignition rod on it. So I'm guessing this is magnesium. Feels an awful lot like aluminium though. Or aluminum if you're from America. But, yeah, I've got a few more of these still to come, but then I've got a little project I'd like to do with them. Okay, I think this is from the UK, so there's no custom declaration on what it is. Ah, I remember this. Yeah, so this is a high power LED. If I remember correctly, it was sold as 10 watts. This is a driver circuit to run it from 12 volts. I have to see if there's some documentation for that on the eBay listing. Okay, so this is a Cree XML2 10 watt LED. So there were choices of colour here. I went with the daylight white because I'm most interested in uh, getting a, a nice bright spotlight off it. And I opted to go with the driver circuit. I didn't want to worry about driving it correctly at the same time as the rest of the project I'm going to be using this for. But this is going to output over a thousand lumens. So uh, this should be nice and bright when I get it going. Doesn't seem to be any details in here about the driver circuit, so I'm going to send the seller a message and see if I can get some data. Ah, oh, quick addendum. So I was still editing this video when the reply to my message popped up. Excellent, that's exactly what I need. That's a uh, good service there. Thanks, uh, current leads. Okay, this has no clues on it. Right, 74LS157. This is slightly embarrassing actually. It's, um, these are the chips I was using on the transfer register. So if you watch that video, remember that what the chips I had were 74157. And when I realized it was the 74157, not the 74LS157 that I had, I was a bit worried they weren't gonna quite work right and I hurriedly ordered a couple of new ones, which were the LS variety, but the circuit worked fine with those as it was, so I got a couple of those anyway. A 
any clues on that one either. Ah, yes. It's a solid state relay, 40 amp max, 3 volt to 32 volt switching. It's nice and chunky and heavy as well. Now I've seen a few people buy these off eBay and kind of comment that they're very light. So there's probably a bunch of fakes of these going around. I suspect one of the big differences between the light ones and the heavy ones is probably mostly potting compound. Okay, so this was £5.40. Looks exactly like it does in the picture. Not a lot else to say about that. Yeah, hopefully that will, that will work for the purpose. And I think the reason why I bought that is in here. So I'll open that in a minute. Pretty sure this is the uh, bit I was particularly keen on. Yes. So these are male turned pin headers. Okay, so these ones came from Amazon. That was five pounds for five strips of them. Oddly enough, the female ones I had in the last mail bag also came from Hobby Components, but I bought those on eBay. Now for components like this, what I tend to do is look in a few different places and just buy them wherever they're cheapest at the time. I'm using these in my processor build. So I've got these boards I've showed in a past video. So these headers will go in here and it will connect to these interconnect boards. Uh, I think this was the one thing I was missing to get on and solder this. So you'll either see that soon or you'll have already seen it because I do that and edit it before I uh, bother editing the mailbag video. Good to have them there. This is pretty obviously another one of the metal bars I ordered. And once again, it's not actually got any information on what it is. I'm going to guess zinc on that one. If worse comes to worse, if I end up with a set that I can't tell, I'll have to uh, kind of weigh and measure them and uh, work it out by density. Resistors. If you remember in my last mailbag, there was a package marked as resistors which was chips, but this, I could feel, were resistors. This is a selection pack from eBay. I had a very small selection pack, and then I was buying great big long strips of resistors that I needed multiples of, or that I ran out of, but I decided I'd get myself one of these selection packs. So this was £6.13 for 2,600 resistors, 130 values. The great thing about this is you get a nice wide selection and if I just need one or two of a particular value there's a pretty good chance I've already got it now. There's a couple of specific values in there I need for a project but uh, most importantly, I need to work out some way of storing them so I can find a specific value quickly. And I 
back into this. Now this has on the outside Tindy Order Reflow Master. So I was expecting this. Genuine, unexpected maker signature. Right. See, one of the things that are needed for this is a solid state relay. The one in the picture there, I think, is exactly the same as what I've got. Cool. So this is Unexpected Maker's Reflow Master, which I bought off his Tindy store. And this is basically designed for converting a toaster oven into a reflow oven. Okay, I won't open that up right now, but it's quite a nice little circuit. And I have to admit, I was thinking about kind of doing a project out of designing my own at some point, but I kind of had seen Sion's one and would kind of feel like duplication if I was just to make my own reflow. So I've got a couple of interesting ideas for how to construct the interface into the kind of toaster oven for doing that, which I think I probably will make a video out of. On my processor build, some of the circuits are going to get pretty big, so particularly the ALU is going to be way more complex than anything I've hand soldered to date. So I reckon being able to do a bit of uh, reflow is going to make my life an awful lot easier on that. Okay, so here's the Tindy page for the Reflow Master. Now, the reason why I purchased it now is because most of the time I've gone to this page, it's been out of stock. So I know he's been very busy with some other projects. So I grabbed one when it became available. It might be a little while before you see me do anything with it, but I wouldn't like to not have it available because it was out of stock when I get around to needing it. Link in the description. Excellent packaging, Sion. The uh, cobble tube definitely protects it. But I'll be very interested to give that a go, but it's probably going to be a few weeks before I uh, get around to that. Got to watch the uh, second-hand stores for a decent toaster oven in the meantime. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.